Hello beautiful family in the light, it's Honey, wishing you an amazing Thursday. Trusting all is well in every way and dimension and direction, as all is always divine in this beautiful, innocent journey that we're having, which the soul is having. Uh, it's been a number of days since I've made a um, video, being able to sit still and actually make video, which is really wonderful. Um, I have I'm back from Scotland and um, have had the opportunity to just be by myself <laughs> uh, for for just a few hours and and really embrace the energy of the last two full weeks because so much has taken place. The alignments are incredible because as things move around, as the Mercury has been uh, in retrograde, as uh, some of these corner points that we have and along being being able to be sort of like really apart from uh, the everyday such as uh, work related and, and just really apart being fully saturated in nature. Uh, the, the, the natural element within has also been shifting around I have found. Being in, um, in, this, uh, in this really untouched land area and being able to drink the water, for example, let's say straight from the mountain it's amazing what takes place on the inside and how the awareness also becomes a lot more refined and even more sensitive. So I feel very highly thankful and uh, very, 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 mm, gosh, appreciative in a state of gratitude this moment that I'm in. Uh, a few couple of interesting things that has come up I wanted to share with you. One is that uh, there is a voice inside our heart that speaks. And this voice, when it speaks to us, it really is very innocent. And it's asking sometimes things that to our mind doesn't make sense, to our mind is, is to childish to our mind is uh, too elementary to our mind is uh, just not important enough but it's that voice that takes the highest level of courage for us to honor and listen to because when we do listen to it and then we take the action with it then what displays before our own very eyes in the experience is is what we never could have even imagined, visualized, or have even just prepared for. Because it's from that place that the higher, higher part of ourselves is now updating us, giving us guidance and insight and the direction and wow, the magnificence and the, ah, oh, just, what can I say, the, the magic of it. So I feel so thankful right now in the space I'm in for just listening to myself. Even though I had planned to move to California, got delayed a little bit, but what took place was even more important. One of the most important things that I want to share is this seems like I've gone through this this full circle of being trained as a clinical therapist before, working with refugees and you know, that had psychological challenges and a lot of individuals being able to do diagnosis for what was, for example, bipolar or identity dissociative disorder or schizophrenia or severely depressed and what have you, to going then into the, um, going to the energetic healing and then going to the light healing and going even above it and working with SM masters and archangels and all of that, it seems like there's this space where I've come to really see those individuals that, you know, what so-called were considered mental disorder, there really is no such thing, which I've known before, but really sitting with that, because all it is is that mind, when it is disturbed, it is, it is disconnected from the bodies, the other bodies, and all it is really requiring is just a higher love. The power of love, is incredible. The power of love is truly what heals, that ability to just love, show up in, in love presence. 
that I have been able to witness and see really what 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 transformation takes place. Sometimes we just need a little extra dose or of love that's all it is and and that's where we can really allow ourselves to open up trust let go and and find and discover the higher part of ourselves by just having somebody to just share that love and um, a lot of people have asked me they would love to be in some of these places with me and one of the things I realized that is very important that I can offer individuals is like let's say a week private, your own personal healer with you on a private retreat where it's one-on-one -on -one from morning till night where I'll be able to take you on an exotic location, be able to make the breakfast for you, be able to guide you through your meditation and yoga practice and breath work and take you on a land journey and have you really saturated in that and also while you're in this journey, be able to then come back to where your location is, where your home or your setting is, so you'll be able to take that experience of retreating and, and being able to fully be in all your bodies, then bringing it back to your environment, because a lot of times we go away, and then when we come back, we're unable to still be in that vibration. So I feel what's been constantly missing is that, and I've been able to assist someone very special in my life with that, being able to spend a lot of time with him, have him go through his journey of self-renewal, really just like hand by hand, and then, and then be able to be also in his place, be able to make sure he implements it here. So there's such a gift in that, and I'm going to be adding that to my services. So if somebody wants to have a full week experience one-on-one -on -one with me this is at a very high executive level um, and some of these very exotic locations and I'm more than happy to offer that because I can really see and what is what what is it when somebody's there one-on-one -on -one able to transform that within themselves in that safe environment so a lot has come forward and I'm looking forward to so much more coming up as I go to Los Angeles and a few interesting trips coming up after that. And what a journey. That's all I can say. Life is a journey. And all I know is everything is an excuse for us not to do what our heart desires. When our heart wants something, when we listen to it, everything else shows up. That's all I know. Everything else is an excuse because our mind or our ego does not want us to fulfill what is sacred in our heart. Whereas it's the sacredness of the heart that connects us to all, all there is. So with that, I'm leaving you with the core of my heart, the center of my chest, that beautiful vibration that's connected to that oneness energy and also divine energy, which is the Yeshua energy and the golden sun. And wishing you a deliciousness and I look forward to connecting with you. I have a couple more days here in Europe before I head back to the U.S. and certainly we'll be updating you on um, all of that as well. Hmm. Aho. Namaste. En lakesh. Banura esh. House house. Until we speak again. Bye-bye.